right, everyone. So let's learn how to make a CSS only mega menu that doesn't uh, require any JavaScript or any extra plugins. And if you want more uh, great content like this, uh, don't forget to subscribe. So we'll learn how to make this. And those are Elementor inner sections, so you can truly make them uh, look exactly the way you want. Uh, those are not templates. As you will see, those are directly in the same header template. So the very first thing uh, you will want to do is to create uh, so you, uh, I, you, you can see in the description I have uh, my article, so you can go there and follow along as th there are quite a few steps and uh, sometimes you will need to copy paste a few things. So the first thing you will want to do is to go and uh, to create a new header template or if you already have one to uh, go in there and to edit it. And of course you will need Elementor Pro for this. Uh, the tutorial will still work for Elementor free users, but you won't be able to create this in uh, another template, of course, unless you have some kind of plugin that allows uh, for this. But to use a team builder and to create a, a header template using Elementor Pro function, you will need Elementor Pro. Uh, the link for Elementor Pro is, is also in the description. So here I already have my Elementor Pro uh, header template ready and I only added uh, one element uh, so far so but let's let's uh, start first by uh, creating so you will create your section and then the first thing after you add a section is to make sure you have only one column in your section. So if, if you created a two column section, delete the other one. This whole design requires that there is only one column in the section. So then you will uh, go click to have the options of the section. You will set it to uh, the width to full. You will set column gap to no gap. And you will set a vertical aling to middle. And then let's refer to my article. There are quite a few settings, so I will be referring to my articles just to be uh, certain I don't, uh, I remember everything. So you will also need to set the Z index to 99 and then uh, padding to zero. All right. So now you will go in the column sections and we will set that up properly. So you will want to set this to space between and the HTML tag you will want it to, to be set to nav so, so that it will tell the search engines that this is a navigation uh, area and that everything in it is related to navigating the, your website. Uh, don't make the section sticky yet if you want your uh, mega menu to be sticky because it will cause problem when you will uh, edit it. You will see about this a bit later. And then we add everything we want in the section. In the, yeah, in the section, so in the single column. So here I have the, my logo. Every element that you add you will want the Z index to be 11 and then the padding you can just uh, adjust to your liking. But the Z index needs to be 11 and the positioning, the width needs to be in line. So now I will add a header. So let's say services and then the same is true. So Z index 11 Let's change the width to inline. And then because it's spaced between, now of course it's going all the way to the other end because there are only two elements. So now you can style this uh, adding element exactly the way you want it. In my case, sir, I will just uh, go in there and copy paste the styles so it will be a bit quicker. And you will also want to change 
the HTML tag to div so that it's a, a little bit better uh, for SEO. So then you will simply uh, duplicate your heading for each main menu item that you will want on your page. So we are not using the main Elementor nav menu item. We are creating this by using heading element and then having a link in there. So of course you will want your link in there. And that's, that's how this particular design works. And then finally the button, which I, I will just uh, copy and paste. So this is just a normal button element. All right. So, and let me also add a, uh, a, a background color. Okay. So now uh, I will change the titles and I will be right back. All right. So now uh, everything is added, everything is fine. So the main part is created. Now, of course, the padding is not quite right, but the code will take care of a part of this. So let's not worry about this for now. Uh, after this, what you will want is to create, well, your actual uh, like mega section that will show up below the when you will be overing the parent element the uh, mega section that will show up that's what we will create now so and we will use inner sections for this so let's just add an inner section after the button and then in the inner section you can add like whatever you want it doesn't really matter so uh, here I will just create something quickly with the uh, icon list is uh, something that's that's good for this and and then of course the uh, padding and everything will be uh, will need to be adjusted so let's actually delete this let's place this where it goes and then Let's uh, make the inner section. So for each of those inner sections that will be submenu items, you will want also the uh, this set to full and the uh, class needs to be nav content. So this is quite important, otherwise the CSS won't work. And then you can style it uh, as you want. So let's say I add a bit of uh, padding. Uh, you can add, let me just duplicate this for example. So you can have many uh, columns and everything in here in the inner section, uh, it's fine. So now I have one of them. So let's just add another, uh, well, let, let's, uh, yeah, let's duplicate it. Let's delete this column. And let me add uh, another element. So let's just go with the portfolio element. All right, this seems uh, good enough for demonstrations purposes. Okay, so now we can start to see, let's say we had three of them. We can start to see why you should not make the column, the, uh, the main section sticky yet, because you could not scroll down all the way to all of your submenu uh, sections. So that's why you need to wait until everything is ready, until uh, if you want it sticky, wait after everything is ready to come and turn this on. All right, so now all the inner sections are there. They all have the right uh, CSS class and uh, everything is fine. So how do we link them to each uh, like parent menu item and that's where the CSS code is needed so uh, so now item oh so the class the right class is menu content 
So I thought it was nav content. It looks like it's menu content. So let's quickly change this. For the inner section that you want to be a children of the particular heading, just bring it below this heading. So this one, let's say we want it below uh, services. So services and then this inner section. Uh, and then the other two, let's just say blog and about. Uh, or uh, I mean, let's say uh, premium and blog. So after right after, so this heading is premium. This inner section will show up after. And the other heading is blog and this inner section will show up. All right, so now it looks like this. Uh, it looks like quite a mess, but that's uh, perfectly fine and that's perfectly normal. And then finally, what you will want to do is add the CSS. So you will come here, you will copy uh, the CSS and where I recommend to add it is uh, in the other setting under advanced and custom CSS and then just paste it in there. And now you can see right away that quite a few things have been taken care of. The padding and the spacing on the uh, on this uh, has been uh, fixed and and everything disappeared and now it shows up on over. So right away everything is working except that of course we can see that I forgot to add a background color to my uh, inner sections so it won't work uh, without it. So let's let's add it. So let's add it to and I think I actually forgot to add a z index of 9. So let's add z index 9. Let's add the background color. And if you want it white, it's fine, but just, just uh, make it white, but it needs to have a background color. And now let's have a look, and it's just perfect. So uh, let's simply copy and then paste the style to the other uh, inner sections. All right. And then finally, I think we have it. Of course, the styling is uh, not perfect yet and requires quite a bit of work, but everything works and everything works fine. So now if I, we can actually uh, see, see it on the home page, on my demo home page. So let me delete this one. Let me update because I have it assigned under conditions to show up on my demo uh, homepage. And here it is uh, on my demo homepage. So everything works. And another very nice thing about this design is that it's uh, actually keyboard accessible, which means it's, it's good for uh, accessibility. If we go back to my original design, where it's designed quite a bit uh, better, we can see that it's uh, working very good. And just pressing the Enter key will navigate to the appropriate page that has the uh, focus. So this is very good for accessibility. And uh, yep, so that's it. So just by using CSS and not even needing uh, any uh, JavaScript or any plugin, we, we could create uh, this great uh, Elementor uh, mega menu. Now, of course, here the design is still only for a demo. It could be, it, it could look a lot better, but I think it's good enough to give you an idea uh, of, of what is possible. So uh, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and uh, let me know if it works for you. And uh, please subscribe for uh, more similar content. And thank you.